Hi everyone. Um, with the excellence exam uh, quickly approaching on the 17th of June, I just thought I'd share with you a few um, last minute tips that might help in your preparation. Okay, so tip number one. Uh, once you receive your uh, exam paper, please take time to read through it carefully. Uh, this will help you get a feel for the questions and it also helps to identify the questions that have internal choice within them. Highlight these options so you don't miss out on choosing the best question for you. Um, this simple step can prevent any confusion and ensure you are being you are clear on what's being asked. Okay, so tip number two, focus on key themes and topics. So over the last couple of years, the theme of the IIS has strongly influenced um, the questions that appear in the exam. So this year's theme was the role of food production in maintaining natural resources. So my advice would be to go over all things soil with specific emphasis on uh, soil fertility and sustainability. Um, so things that you could study would be could be low emission slurry spreading techniques, um, organic farming, the use of multi-species swords, the importance of soil testing and crop rotation. These are really important. OK, so tip number three, um, be familiar with the scientific method. Uh, for each of the SBAs, you need to be able to present a hypothesis and also identify independent, dependent and control variables. Um, this knowledge is crucial as the scientific method is a core part of the exam. Make sure you're comfortable with these concepts so that you can apply them effectively in your answers. OK, so tip number four, um, SBAs are guaranteed to appear on the exam and they offer a great opportunity to score well. So when writing out your methodology, use bullet points. This technique helps you present your, present your answers clearly and concisely, and it's also easier for the examiner to follow, and it also reduces the risk of unnecessary waffle. Um, right, tip number five is practice your calculations. Make sure you are comfortable doing calculations. Previous exams have included um, a lot of data and graphs and require a knowledge and an application of such. So uh, practice calculations like um, food conversion ratios, daily live weight gains, and also a lot of the SPAs include calculations as well, such as organic matter content, soil organic carbon content, uh, and earthworm population. Um, these can be tricky. There's lots of them in your textbook, so please practice them. And also, really important, don't forget to bring your calculator into the exam with you. Um, right, my final tip then is, provided you have the time to do so, once you are finished your exam, please go back over your questions and reread everything that you have written down. Um, ensure that you have enough questions answered and be on the lookout for misinterpreted questions or errors. Um, this final review can help catch any mistakes and make sure your answers are as strong as possible. Okay, so um, I hope you found some of these tips helpful. Best of luck on the 17th of June.